Well, good afternoon. It's going on 3.30 here in uh, Melbourne, Florida this afternoon, and I did not do a video this morning, obviously. Uh, and this is the video for today. And I'm entitling it Overview. What I like to do is I'd like to give you a, a word picture of what's going on with me right now and where I am in the in the recovery from my operation and where I am in my living situation, my recording video situation, etc. Now, this when I was in the hospital, I was on um, I was attached to insecure. Uh, I don't know what you call it. The the thing that you attach to it in there, and you're on a you're you're open. It's open source sort of. Now my computer has been operating really really slowly since I was in the hospital, and so I had one of my friends come over this morning and check and see what was wrong. We had over three hundred, over three hundred bad files that were that had been downloaded uh, and were causing problems. And we fixed that and got it back to where it's just the programs that I need without all that additional crap that's been added as a result of being on an, in an insecure connection. So we got that taken care of this morning. And he, my friend Ken, was here for, God, at least two hours, if not longer, um, uh, helping me get that squared away so that I didn't have such slowness in the computer. And hopefully this uh, will be uh, coming out much better than previous videos because of removing all of that trash that was in there. That's that's one thing of getting my computer ready. The other thing is I'm very thankful that before I even uh, went in for surgery, before I even knew that I was going in for surgery, uh, I elevated the head of my bed. Now, what that means is I put six-inch blo uh, blocks underneath the feet, feet of the bed so that the head of the bed is six inches higher than it was. That gives me the ability to stand, to actually move to that end of the bed and to stand up without, being, without any assistance whatsoever. That would not happen if I was sitting at the lower end of the bed. The reason I know that is is I put a three-and-a-half-inch extension on my toilet seat so that I would be elevated on my toilet seat, but I still cannot stand. I think I did it once without assistance since I've been home. Other than that, I always need assistance to just help make sure I can finish the process. I can almost stand up completely, but not quite. And I'm not allowed to push with my arms or catch myself or anything like that because there can't be any pressure on my arms. So. That's another situation that I have here that I have to be very careful of. Because of the because the, the sternum is healing, I have to give it time to heal so that I actually have the strength to uh, give a little bit more. I can lift a little bit heavier things and, and give a little bit more support to myself. But right now, there's to be zero support. Well, I'm allowed to lift five pounds. That's it, five pounds. That's all I'm allowed to lift until I until I see the doctor, not this coming Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. Uh, so that's, that's bringing you up to date on that situation. The other thing is uh, my computers. I still have not turned on my, my regular computer. It went, uh, it's been off since I was in the hospital, and it has not been, been attempted to be turned on. And the reason is that corner of my room, uh, the, the room next next to the bedroom here. That corner of the room is so filled with soot all over the walls, all over the ceiling, all over everything that I was unable to to clean. And because of that, it isn't even safe to sit in that room. My daughter was going to help get it cleaned up this weekend, and I don't want to get it get it cleaned up so I'm able to stand sit in a regular chair and stand up without support, without anybody there to help help me get up. So it might be a couple more weeks at least before I'm able to make my videos from the location that I've been making them from all, all these years before. So they're going to be probably coming from the bedroom here because I can get up and down by myself 
which I cannot do in the other thing, and I do not even want to work in that other corner until we get everything clean. It has to be totally cleaned out and get both of my computers working in tandem with each other again as they were prior to going into the hospital. So that gives you a little bit of an overview of my physical condition. Now I feel good. I do get, I do have to take a, a pain pill every now and, now and again. I, my daughter just went out and got me Tylenol this morning uh, to replace or to take instead of the Oxycontin. Is it Oxycontin? I think that's what it is that I'm, that I've been taking for pain. Uh, and I look forward to the day when I don't have to take medicines regularly that I hope that comes it may never come I, I'm not sure I, I'm going to try to follow at least some of the doctor's advice not necessarily all of it because I believe in holistic healing and I want to go back to just leaning on the holistic healing uh, that I've done for such a long time now I don't believe perhaps and I don't know if this is true or not true that the uh, that three years or more of soot over three, four years, over four years of soot, burning candles, um, probably contributed to some of my problems inside. Uh, if not, if not my heart, my lungs. Of course, the problem with my heart is that the uh, is that the 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 implant they use from my own body of the pulmonary valve into the aortic valve position that that valve actually is failing now i don't know if it was failing because of the uh because of what i was breathing or in spite of what i was breathing nevertheless uh i had to have that valve replaced which was my own valve and it's replaced with an artificial valve and I, it never needs to be should never need to be replaced again, according to the doctor. They've, they've gotten the technology to the point where it's pretty much a standalone valve. Now, it was a very risky operation, I want you to know, in that uh, I had had the previous surgery, and my heart valve was in really, really bad condition. Uh, I was like 20-something percent efficiency for my heart and breathing. That's all. Uh, so now it's going to be much closer to 100%. I don't know where it's going to come out when I finish the healing process. I still have to remember to breathe deeply every day, a number of times uh, throughout the day, to keep my lungs expanding as much as I can expand them, because that will keep that will keep them in better shape and give me greater capacity for walking and everything else. And I'm going to have to be doing a lot more walking. I have to reevaluate and reassess how I spend my time. I still have not opened emails from the time that I was in the hospital. So my email program hasn't even been utilized on this computer because I always use the email on the other computer, not this computer that I'm, that I'm recording on right now. So again, that, that computer is going to wait until I can actually sit in a chair next to the desk and then stand up without assistance. So however, however long that takes, that's how long I'm going to be recording on this computer with it unattached to my main uh, non-laptop computer. Anyway, that gives you a little bit more of an overview, and I'm trying to bring you up to date so that you understand why things are the way they are, why I don't have the background I used to have, etc. Now you, now you know the answer. So I want to, to ask for continued prayer and continued support uh, as much as you can. And I'd also like to ask, and I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna get my son or my daughter to help me uh, post the thing where you can donate money for, to them. Because they are, my daughter hasn't worked, she's been going back to work on this coming Wednesday. Uh, and this will be the first time since I had all this problem she's taken, she took a leave of absence basically from her job, which they graciously allowed her to do. And she goes back to work for three days instead of her normal four this coming week, and probably it'll be four instead of the instead of three the following week. Uh, but they are really they dug a hole for themselves financially because of coming to see me in the hospital, skipping her job. Uh, so there's a, there's some extra expenses that they're having 
that I would like you to contribute to if, if possible. And here it goes to computer. Uh, if at all possible to contribute to them to help them get back out of the hole, at least on level playing field, so that they're at least back where they were before they had to take so much time and effort to help me and went with me in the hospital up in Gainesville. And I live in the Melbourne. And again, that's a two and a half, three hour drive one way. And I'm still going to have to go back there with my son. He's going to have to take me up there at least three more times, I believe, before I, before I finish uh, seeing the doctor up there. So that's the situation. I'm giving you a, again an overview of where I am so that you understand uh, what's going on with me. Those of you that care, and those of you that don't, don't. That's okay too. But anyway, uh, as soon as I'm able, I will continue doing videos at the old place. But until then, it will be this new format and this new way of doing videos. And it will be what it will be. So thank you for listening and, uh, God bless each of you. Have a